Hey everybody, today I'm going to make a video comparing Canva to Hootsuite. I have made several videos in the past about schedulers um, and how to manage all your scheduling so that you don't have to sit there and do them live. And most of the videos that I have view time on are on those videos and some of them are a couple years old. So what I thought I would do is kind of upgrade them and today we're going to compare Canva, the Canva scheduler with Hootsuite. Hootsuite's very popular, so I thought it would be interesting to see the difference between the two. And you're probably thinking, where are you? I am sitting at my house next to the barn. This is the area that we used to have our bucks, the goats in. Um, they've passed away. We've had them for several years and we haven't replaced them. And what we're gonna do is take this side of the barn and clear it all out and make a place to put our junk. Like, no, um, some of the, like the four wheeler stuff like that. Um, we were thinking about well we did last year we built a shelter I made a video about that and it blew down so my husband's like let's just get rid of some of the stuff clear all that out we've already got a place to put it we're already paying taxes on it so use it I am tearing this chicken coop down and you're probably thinking why are you telling me this we don't really care it has nothing to do with it I think the reason I want to share this with you is because as a YouTuber or a social media person, you know, people that are trying to, you know, find ways to make money online, sometimes you get obsessed about it and you're trying really hard to spend all your time working on your business thinking that's what it takes. And I'm here to tell you that you also have to live in your present and do things that you love to do. Um, I love to be outside. I love playing around with all these projects. So for me, this is... Um, Actually, where I do my best thinking is when I'm mowing or, you know, working with the animals. And I also want to share this because my husband built this for me um, to have my little chicks in. And what I learned from having hens and chickens, wherever you raise your chicks, that tends to be where they think is their home. And it's really hard to train them to go to another coop. And this was going to be my chick coop and I'm not using it for that. I've got a different system now. He's built me a couple other ones. So I'm going to tear it down. And I told him I would do it today. I'm using my, where is it right here? My, I got the battery all charged up and this is what I'm going to do today. But another thing that I want to point out is sometimes when you're doing other things that you love to do and you get away from that computer, you will find that some of your best thinking takes place. So I'm just, I just want to encourage you get away from the computer do some other stuff and you will find that um, everything will just fall into place it'll be more relaxing and you'll enjoy your life more all right let's go jump in and start comparing canva and hootsuite both are have schedulers hootsuite is a scheduler canva is a lot of things but they have a scheduling program as well and let's see what the difference is and what they both offer and which one you think you would prefer and then you can tell me down below which one you think you would prefer before I explain the differences between Hootsuite and Canva as far as using it for a content planner or social media scheduling tool, I wanted to explain what a scheduling tool is. Basically, what it allows you to do is take your social media posts and schedule them like on a, vi a virtual calendar, and they will post at the time and the date that you schedule it for. So that's why they call it a scheduler. Um, so basically, that's what I'm going to walk you through is how these two scheduler schedulers um, compare to each other. And there are some options um, that you will find are better for either one. So you're going to have to decide which one you like better. I chose Hootsuite because Hootsuite is very popular. I chose Canva because nobody ever thinks of Canva as a scheduler. We think of it as a design tool. So I thought it was really cool that it does both. And you can see something that you may already have, you'll be able to use. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And one of the first things I want to, I'm going to compare three things. I'm going to compare the cost of each. Um, how to schedule, the ease of being able to schedule, and then which platforms you can schedule to. I have Hootsuite listed first. You can schedule multiple posts all at once, different platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, WordPress, Instagram, and YouTube. So you have seven different options. Canva, however, you can post to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So there are a difference in the office. So let's go ahead and look at the cost next. Up on the board, I have Hootsuite. It has three different tiers, and obviously, if you look up in that right-hand corner, you'll see that you'll wanna start out with a 30-day free trial first, and make sure it's something that you feel that you can use and that you'll get your money's worth if you do decide to go with a professional plan. Obviously, you would always start with the bottom level, $49 a month, um, and it's only good for one user, and you get 10 different social accounts. So you do get a little bit more um, instead of the free one, which only gives you seven. Um, as you move over, 
um, you have more users, more social accounts, and so on. So if you want to make a business out of this, which some people do, that's when you're going to start looking at an enterprise plan. But there you go for yourself if you're just starting out the professional plan, $49 per month, and definitely start out with a 30-day free trial. Now Canva is a little bit different. They do have a free account, but in the free account, you cannot schedule your content. However, you do have an opportunity to try it out for free for 30 days. Um, if you hit the link below in my description, it's a trial period. So you can also check that one out for free and compare the two. After that, the price is $119 or $120 a year, which comes out to about $10 a month. And you are able to schedule on all four of those platforms that I showed you earlier for just $10 a month. Now, one of the advantages that I really, really like about Canva is your creativity. Both of them will allow you to create your post, but Canva seems to have more available in their library, if that makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and see how easy it is to post in either one. Let's look at Hootsuite first. Hootsuite has a manual scheduler where you can go in there live and just make your post and schedule it immediately, or you can put it on an auto scheduler. You have to have the auto schedule toggle turned on to do that. And you can see over here on the left um, that this is where you're gonna go to create your posts. Here's what your page will look like for the auto scheduler. You, you have to choose the number of posts that you want on each day, the range of hours, and then the days that you want the posts to be auto scheduled. Now, if you had to take a break and come back and you can't remember what you scheduled and what you did, and you're gonna go over here to the left and look at the scheduled, and it'll give you a list of all your scheduled posts, and you can view them in the calendar as well. And you can also edit and delete from there. Right below that over here on the left, you can also look at your past scheduled post. Again, if you forgot, didn't know if you had scheduled something, you can go back in and see when you scheduled it and when it posted. Now, one of the perks that I saw with Hootsuite, which I was impressed about, you know how when you keep getting lots and lots of content, you need to start putting stuff in Google Drive or into your Dropbox, Hootsuite will connect to different apps and allow you to pull your different um, images and things from your own Google Drive, which I thought was pretty impressive. Now let's go ahead and look at the ease of scheduling in Canva. I'm gonna assume that you may already have a Canva account. You already know how to uh, create things. I do have a playlist at the end that I'll put up for you where um, there's lots of different details on how to create different things if you've never used it before. But if you look over here to the left, you can actually upload your own images and you can also use images that are here and it is just loaded over here on the side but here is an example of a post that's already been loaded um, and ready for um, to be scheduled and you're going to go over here to the left to the right excuse me where you see these three little dots and when you when you click that you're going to see here where it allow you to schedule that post you can add a caption here um, you can also put text on this post when, when you go to create it, and then you're going to schedule from here. When you click this, it's going to ask you where do you want it to go and on what date. Now, real quick, before I go into more detail on that, you can also go to the home screen when you come in and you can create, um, see the content planner over here to the left. So you can access it either way. Now, if you need to edit a post, you can do that with Canva as well. And you're going to hit your content planner on the main home page and on the left, and then a, a calendar will come up where you have things scheduled and then you'll see it and you can just click it and edit it before it gets um, posted. Now, Canva does have a mobile, a mobile app that you might be interested in if you're on Instagram and things like that, and you want to quickly be able to post while you're on the go, that's a whole nother lesson in how to do it, but they do have the ability to post from your mobile device. Battery ran out. That's all I could get done. All right, I'll have to come back another day. All right, guys, don't forget to watch the video that comes up next. If you enjoyed watching this and seeing what Canva did, then I left a playlist for you. Um, all the different things that I've accumulated so far um, for you by using Canva, and there's a lot more to come. You have a blessed day, and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel.